Grandpa Bill, Grandpa Bill, story time with Grandpa Bill. It's Grandpa Bill's story time. Yay! Hi, I'm Grandpa Bill. Welcome to Grandpa Bill's story time. Come on in, make yourself comfortable, and we're going to sit down and read a good book. Okay, today's book is When Will I Read? by Miriam Cohen, pictures by Lillian Hoban. All right, when will I read? Reading is what I'm doing right now. I'm reading a book. Yeah. When will I read? Jim asked. Soon, the teacher said. This must be Jim. And here's the teacher. But when, said Jim, you know what the signs in our room say, the teacher said. Yes, said Jim. I know, please put the blocks back when you're done and don't let the hamsters out. But I always knew that. <laughs> Playing with the blocks. This is where the hamster is. You can read your name, the teacher said. But that's not really reading, said Jim. The teacher smiled. It will happen, she said. Then she went to get the snacks. <laughs> Someday you'll be reading books too, just like I'm reading to you right now and Grandpa Bill. I can read, George said. No, you can't, everybody shouted. George took his favorite book and told what it said under each picture. You only remembered it, Paul said. That's how reading begins, said the teacher. It begins that way. Mm-hmm. Anna Maria was reading to her baby in the doll corner. She could really read. Quiet, she said. I'm reading to you, but her baby would not be quiet. Anna Maria said, oh, this is a bad baby. He needs to be washed. And she began to wash her baby very hard. Jim said to Willie and Sam, everyone there is reading. There is reading about Smokey the Bear on the bus. There is reading on the Nutty O's box. Everyone there is reading and writing, writing and reading. Willie said, oh, the Nutty O's box. It tells you to send for a little airplane. Yes, said Sammy. I did, but it crashed right away. <laughs> Nutty O's must be a type of cereal that, that they eat. Jim sat down at the table. He put his head on his arms. Don't worry, the teacher said. There's no hurry. You will read when you are ready. But when will, I re when will I be ready? Jim asked. You are getting ready all the time, she said. Mm-hmm. You'll be reading pretty soon. Just then there was a, a cranking, bashing, clashing noise outside the first grade windows. Let's go and watch the garbage men work, said the teacher. The class rushed out to the playground. The garbage men lifted big cans and dumped them into the truck. The crunching teeth... Uh, the crunching teeth ate up all the trash. And one of the garbage men winked at Jim. He said, how are you doing, son? <laughs> the garbage truck <laughs> like mashes the garbage when they put it in. Then the garbage men jumped on the truck and drove away, waving and smiling at the first graders. Afterward, the teachers wrote down everybody's story about the garbage men. She's writing. Here is Jim's. The garbage man is strong. He is not afraid of teeth that keep on eating the garbage. He just smiles and says, how are you doing, son? <laughs> Jim sat at the table reading his story. George and Willie and Sammy sat down with him. Jim said, I wish I could really read. A dog can read, Sammy said. No, he can't, everybody shouted. Yes, a dog can, said Sammy. He reads by the sniffs. He sniffs and then he knows what dog came there before. But can a dog read the comics? Asked Georgie. And Sammy and Willie fell down to the floor laughing. Ah. <laughs> Jim was tired of worrying about reading. He went to watch Danny and Paul and Margaret. They were being firemen and their block city was on fire. Danny yelled, bring the water over here. No, said Margaret, we have to save the man. She and Paul began to put up the ladder. See, they're pretending like there's a fire and they're firemen. Mm -hmm. 
Hurry, Danny yelled. The fire's coming. It will burn the hamsters. He pretended to shoot water at the hamster box. <laughs> Jim came to help Danny. Then he saw that the sign in the hamster's box was torn. It said, do, uh, do let the hamsters out. Instead of do not or don't. <laughs> do let the hamsters out. You don't want that to happen. Don't let the hamsters out. Jim ran to the teacher. Look, he shouted. The sign says, do let the hamsters out. They could get killed. We can fix that, the teacher said. And she began to make a new sign. Then she smiled at Jim. Making a new sign. I told you it would happen, she said. You can read. I can, Jim said. Yes, said the teacher. That was reading. You really read the sign. Jim and the teacher put the new sign on the hamster cage. I waited all my life, said Jim. Now I can read. <laughs> Aw, what a good story about learning how to read. If you don't read yet, don't worry. Someday you'll learn. That's why we go to school. Well, have a great day, and thank you for sharing this book with me today. Come back again for more stories with Grandpa Bill. Goodbye.